So welcome back. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. Um, I've done a previous video explaining what it's like to have a bracelet. Um, and since now I'm closer towards the end of you know my process before I start serving my sentence, um, I'll give you kind of a, even more kind of stories about this bracelet that I've been wearing. Uh, Fortunately or unfortunately, I am not wearing the same bracelet that I started off uh, to almost over two years ago. Uh, I've had numerous bracelets during my time under home incarceration. Um, I first started with a bracelet that essentially connected to a phone line, like a landline, and uh, it would it's an RF a radio frequency it would basically tell the box whether I'm home or not because of the distance whether or not the bracelet is uh, being detected by the box um, after uh, probably uh, over a year of having that service they suddenly said that there were problems with it that the uh, either the landline or the the, the whatever problem technical problem was happening that they kept thinking that I was out of the house when I was not uh, so after over a year of wearing this bracelet in which there were so many problems and it tortured my probation officer because she would get alerts at like 3 a.m. that I left the house and clearly was not that was not the case uh, that she decided to switch to a more modern unit that no longer used uh, a landline and instead it had a um, almost like a cell signal its own like wireless cell signal that's in the box uh, but similar bracelet you know so it would detect kind of uh, whether or not you're, you're in the in the area that you need to be but then the box will work no matter what. So even if there's a power outage, there's be enough power to transmit uh, with the cell signal. Um, I also had problems with that. That didn't last long, actually. We, that went for a week, a week or two before they decide to, to, to take it away. And um, they then decided to give uh, me the newest version they had uh which was a um a box that had a bracelet that had a lot of extra equipment in it so that even if the box the monitoring box fails at home you can still um send out your signal with just the bracelet uh so <laughs> you know the and so what i've been told is that the bracelet talks although i've never heard it talk to me before so um but you know so so that was an experiment that lasted two weeks before they said still not working so for whatever reason you know i i never break the rules <laughs> so you can i'll promise you that and i've i have proof of that but and my my probation officers knew that so they they couldn't understand what was causing like maybe some like you know solar flares or like you know aurora borealis and that's the reason why the you know it's causing interference with the box uh that my last bracelet that i am wearing is actually the the second one second model that i tried out which is essentially the cell signal with this bracelet um i think i still probably trip up a lot of the systems and they're getting alerts like crazy but because i'm so close to the end of my my process that they just don't even give a crap anymore they don't uh you know they don't ever ask me like you know how are you have experiencing these problems uh so that's that's kind of my 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 reputation at least for my probation officers they even if i am showing up as not at the house they know i'm at the house so uh that that contributes a lot of course a lot to my previous videos about like how you get stuff like self-surrender so um 
you it, if you are wondering I, I think I've touched upon this in the in the past about uh, how I live with this as part of my daily life um, it's not like the really kind of ghetto old versions that you've seen uh, other people who maybe understate uh, monitoring these you can you can take a shower with these like totally take a shower with them uh, you just have to make you know because there's a band you have to make sure you just kind of wipe wipe your 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 ankle between the band you know so uh, you can if you want to take a very long hot bath doesn't doesn't do a thing about to it um, I will tell you what was nasty was that I my first um, bracelet I wore that for over a year the same bracelet and it's it's nasty and they wouldn't change it because you know they wouldn't change it because there's no problem right you know and by the time that they were experiencing problems with the, with with the box then they say okay we'll change yours out i think we were all scared with what we were going to find and then you know when they when they cut the you know the band off and then they opened up the little cartridge that shows like the batteries and the inner guts there was like so much caked up i don't know what soap particles or whatever you want to call it it was nasty i'm glad she wore a glove when she did that um and then you know they i think i got a new one after that so i didn't have to wear the one that i had been wearing for once over a year which is kind of disgusting and um not having to wear a bracelet when i finally get uh designated is going to be the best thing ever because i've been wearing this for over two years um you know i wasn't allowed out too often but you know there were times during the summer where you know how you how do you wear this with shorts i invented a way to wear it with shorts it looked okay, but I I also see people out on the street who don't give a crap. <laughs> they, they just let it uh, let it fly 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 out there, and people don't care. Uh, I'm not personally that. I I, I, I care a little bit <laughs> about having people see my my bracelet, but um, you know, like the irony is that I've I have to wear this up until I get designated, and I get to take it off while in prison. So. Free from the band, free from the the bracelet, but then I'm I'm gonna be in prison, so not not fun, I guess, or I guess just irony, right? That's irony. So, uh, so that's that's just an update on the bracelet. Um, I don't think I'll be lucky enough to do one of those videos that I've seen on TikTok where people cut get to cut off the the bracelet and they get to post a video about ah, how wonderful it is. I think. It will literally be the day that I have to leave to go to wherever I'm serving. So they'll cut it off for me in the morning. I won't be bringing my phone because wherever I'm going, I can't keep it. So uh, maybe I'll have a family member <laughs> uh, take a picture or do a video of them cutting it off. That's That'll be the fun part. So, uh, And then I can finally have my legs not be like messed up by the fact that I have some like you know uh, a pound one pound kind of metal thing stuck to my ankle for the past uh two years so anyways hope you enjoyed this uh whim whimsical chat about the bracelet uh i'll be posting other videos if you like this one please like if you have any questions about the bracelet definitely put it in the comments and uh if you have not subscribed please subscribe that definitely helps the channel and uh, press notifications because that's how you can know new videos are coming up. All right. I will talk to you guys soon.